Every holiday has its own traditions, and there's no tradition more Christmas than the gingerbread house. Here at the 126 Army Band, we've decided to hold a gingerbread house building competition amongst our own unit members. Let's meet the competitors. I'm Specialist Miranda Kibler. I am from Akron, Ohio. I play French horn and piano, and I'm on the library team for the unit. I'm really excited to make this gingerbread house, and I'm going to crush the competition. Hi, I'm Specialist Katie Zeltinger. I play the flute in the unit. Other than that, I am on the marketing team. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm going to wreck the competition. I'm Sergeant Ariel Suffinger. I play the flute here at the unit. I am from Erie, Pennsylvania. Um, it's, it's really snowy there, so I'm really excited to make a gingerbread house with lots of lots of snow, and I'm going to try really hard not to eat all the gingerbread icing. My name is Sergeant Aaron Kessler. I play the French horn. I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio, and I work on the admin team, and I am a staff arranger here. I am really excited to crush my competition. So let's go over the rules. Each of our contestants has the same basic kit that they're going to start with. They have six gingerbread squares, they have a tub of icing, and they have access to a glorious table full of all sorts of decorations that they're going to be able to put onto their gingerbread house. Everybody is going to have one hour, and you will be the judge of who made the best. Is everybody ready? Let's go! Let's begin. <laughs> Time's up, hands up. All right, let's check out what they've made. I laid out my snow. That's just a layer of frosting of the icing, which was really delicious, by the way. So then I set up the, the front decorations. This is my gumdrop walkway. These windows are made out of the starlight mints, some shrubbery with the Hershey's Kisses, and then I went to town on the roof. So we just had freshly fallen snow, as you can tell, just the top of my uh, of my roof is covered. The shingle layers I made out of icing and snow caps. A lot of the candy went on the house, and a lot of the candy didn't quite make it onto the house. This, to be honest, didn't go according to plan. I had a compromised piping bag, so I had to improvise. You know what, I'm happy with it because it's important that you think on your feet, you make a decision, you go with it. And that's what I did, and this is what happened. We have a nice crushed candy cane cobblestone walkway up to the door, a lovely Christmas tree on the side, and then a little garden of candy on the other side. I gotta start with the snow. I told you I'm from Erie, PA. So there's snow, and because I have such awesome occupants at my gingerbread house, they shoveled off their little walkway here. Um, up here we've got a chimney. The chimney is a Hershey Kiss. Uh, the marshmallow wall actually took like a lot of time, and I really wanted to do one on back, but I was running out 
time. So the back, I did the Twizzler wall, the snow caps around, it's like a little fence, the blue, really patriotic. You got red, white, and blue in there, you know? I broke my gingerbread, and you might think, oh, why would you do that? It's like brick and mortar. It's actually stronger. I made a Christmas tree out of candy canes. The side of the roof, next to my chimney, and even a base cloth. I have a marshmallow attic to keep the residents nice and cozy and sprinkles everywhere because who doesn't love Christmas sprinkles? So that is it for our competition. We invite you to please let us know which ones you thought were the best. Leave a comment right in here on this video. Be able to pick a winner. Nobody's taking home any prizes for bragging rights, but it was a whole heck of a lot of fun. Please have a safe and happy holidays.